Okay, this is data doc. So let's say first, let's say with the instruction what we are supposed to sign on for data dog and install data dog. This you head to this right to sign. So that's exactly what you are going to do back here. And I'll click on free, free trial. Okay, so here you are going to fill the form. So here, just be careful, carefully select US one, US one, put it to this. So after that, I'm going to put your email. So I just is that uh, put name right then company. You can put here Alex or whatever you want to put. Let me just my ever or my ever whatever it is. And password are the password. number is not compulsory. Yes, it is. So after that, what you want to do? Okay, I think everything is right. Okay. I'll hit sign up. Okay, so. so it's going to expect me to verify my email so i'll hit to my yeah, my gmail account and i'll click on this to verify right i'll copy this go ahead copy go back and paste it here and submit going to verify my email just like so it's going to bring me here and let me to choose choose your stack stack okay you can choose whatever you like good okay you can choose whatever you like tell us about your stack okay i'll just come down here and click on give then at Python, PG next. Uh, one more and I'm done. MySQL. All right. So I'll go ahead. Other tools. So, whatever. Let me just add something there. You that blank. Then, what does your organization look like? Ten, right? Ten servers. And are you a manager? No. Let's go. Monitor my server, web server. So just add that and click on next. Okay. Going to load again and give me some. Okay, so it's going to bring us here and the setup is solely. Uh, data dog agent so where do you want to install it you want to hit to ubuntu okay click on ubuntu and it's going to generate this installer for you so what you just need to do you go ahead to copy you're going to copy this this um, command to install so i'll click on copy it's copied already so you hit to your sound your web server a lot of people make the mistake on installing on their intranet so what you where you want to go to you have to log into your web server web server one specifically uh, you're going to paste paste and that's it is and hit enter and it's going to start the installer it's going to start the installer already have that so i'll just go ahead to you know so after you do that, so you're going to get a message like this. Your data dog agent is running and functioning properly and it's going to run blah, blah, whatever it is. You're going to get that. So, so go ahead after that, start running that installation. What we want to do is we want to go and create our, our application keys. According to the instruction, is create um create an application key you know, and 
um, you're going to get your API key, your generated API key. So we head back to our quickly. So since you are in, what we need to do, we're going to come here to uh, our data dog dashboard and we are going to search click on the search icon application key okay and you go ahead to search for application so what you once you come here what you want to do click on um, new application key you want to create a new application key. that's what you want to do Start creating that. You're going to copy what you have. Start copying that. You head back. You are copying two things. Create an application key. Then you copy your API key. These are the two things you are going to. Okay, so this. I have shown you how to get your application key. So you want to as well grab your API key. So if you come here, this um, install the link giving us here to install it. If you hover your button uh, around here, you see that this is your API key. So go ahead to copy it. Copy this already. So you copy it, and what you want to do, you go to your intranet. Okay. So you've copied two things: your application key and your API key. So you you created application key and your API key was already given to you already there once you uh, click here to install. There's if, if you go back to your dashboard, you can also see your, your API key there. Just come here, API API keys API key. Find it here. Okay, so you have your API key here. you can get it in both so once you are done with all of this you have these two things come down back to your um, intranet to your um your profile your ls profile then click here add your api here and you paste your api key okay so after doing that you are so come again that is your api key are pasted so again you have your application key which is different from this one you come here and you paste it as well so you paste your application. So after pasting your application key to go ahead to save your information click on save my going to go back to you go back to your terminal your monitoring Web monitoring and you create a readme file so you create a readme here yeah, readme md push the readme some people always forget this step so the their yeah, checks will not be correct so after you push your readme.md then you can go ahead to run your checks and everything correctly i'll see in the next video where i'll attack